So there it is, four storm windows. These are actually interior storm windows. When I ordered the slider windows that we have in our house, I ordered them with a right hand opening and they always come with the opening on the left. So when I ordered these, they said right hand opening and I'm thinking, well, these are a window and our windows are right hand open even though they open on the left. So I bought these and they slide open, but look it, they slide open on the right the way you would think they would. Our windows open this way, so you slide this one, and these windows will open this way. That's a major clash, because that means they're never gonna be in line. I was hoping you could slide it open and then slide open the other one without having to keep taking the whole window out. I'm in our living room today and I'm gonna be working on these two windows. I'm hoping to get installed some interior storm windows. Let me show you what those are and explain why we got them. This is the storm window. And this storm window is designed to go on the inside of the house instead of the outside like you'd normally see. Now that's totally not conventional. Normally, Homes would have them on the outside to give extra protection from the weather and the elements on the outside of the house. Well, this is a newer concept, but basically, sometimes you don't need protection on the outside, but the protection on the inside actually helps. Now, the main benefits of having an interior storm window is that it'll reduce your heating costs by adding another layer to hold that heat in the cold out. It'll help prevent condensation on your windows if you have a problem with that. It also helps block noise road noise, different noises outside. It can reduce noise levels by, I think, 50%, which is pretty good. Now, all of the windows in our house are brand new. We installed them over the last two years, but we weren't happy with the thermal or acoustic properties of the windows. We have a lot of cold air that comes off the windows and it forms a lot of condensation on the inside of our house. And also, this is the side of the house that faces a road and when cars go by, you can hear it. So when you're sitting up here and you're trying to watch a movie, your ear is right next to the window and it can be distracting to have vehicles going by. So we went searching around, trying to find a good solution to solve these problems that we have with these windows. Uh, they're normal windows, we just want a better, a better window. And that's how we found, ran into these interior storm windows. If you guys watched our last video, you'll know that we ran into a problem. Basically our windows open on the left, and these storm windows actually open on the right. So they're opposite. Now we had a lot of suggestions to just flip the window upside down. Let me show you why these windows can't be flipped upside down. So I don't know about an exterior storm window, but the interior window is actually designed to fit inside the casing. It doesn't screw to the face of the trim like it would on the outside. And because of that, there's a top. These are hangers, you'll see what those are for. There's a rubber seal that goes all the way around. You'll see it's down there. I didn't unpack this yet, but there's a, rubber, there's a bottom. So there's a physical top and bottom, and it's designed to be installed one way only. So my next option was to see if I could disassemble the window and make it slide on the opposite side. So last night I was experimenting with one of these in the bedroom, and I managed to get it to work. It was totally successful, and that was pretty exciting. I was afraid it wasn't gonna work, but it works. So I'm gonna take you through this process of how I made it work. And basically it involves breaking down the window completely, reversing some of the parts, putting it back together, and it will have a left slide window. So here's the window I'm gonna show you the before. It slides this way. And like I said, there is a physical bottom. There's a track in there, different, different pieces in the top and bottom, it's made different, so it can't go upside down. This is actually a top track that hooks to your window frame, and this is what your uh, the top of the window hooks to. So you see those hooks in there. It'll make sense as we assemble it. But the point is, there is a physical top and bottom. I was afraid of it. I was really intimidated last night, but I said, let's just break it down. What's the worst that can happen? And we managed to pull it together 
pretty well. It's gonna be pre pretty quick and easy. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Each corner, there's two screws. We're gonna start with those. So now, there's also middle screws that hold this center style in. Okay, so this was the scary part for me, is now prying this piece off of the glass. The glass is actually just set into it with a piece of rubber gasket, so it's not too bad. Watch this. that it's just a rubber which we want to put back on the glass and help cut ourselves or break the glass let me pull this out of the way so we're not one mistake so now it's actually not that bad. All we got to do is flip it upside down. So we're going to take the bottom, top, reverse them. That's it. We're just going to start putting it back together. So it's not hanging low. And I'll, I'll try to draw it together with the screws, I think. So as you saw, that part was pretty easy. Now before I put this last piece on, um, I want to fix this slider. And the reason we got to fix the slider as well is because on one side there's these nylon glides on the bottom, uh, on the other side there isn't. The tracks are otherwise identical. But we're going to do the same thing because I found that I couldn't take these nylon parts out without ruining them. And we need it to slide opposite, so basically we got to disassemble this frame too. Which is just two screws on either, one screw on either end. And popping it off the glass. And again, just uh, just taking this this bottom track, put it on that end, reversing. You got it? Mm -hmm. No, just the window. It goes. So that's actually all there was to it is, there we go. Now we have a slider, slides properly, hangs properly. It's amazing because I could only buy this window in a right hand open, but it was actually easy to convert to left hand. So it's kind of odd that they don't sell in both ways. So now that we got it converted over to a functional safe window, 
let's get it installed. And I better not lay it on the floor if I step on it. I'm gonna lean it up. So we decided, we have blinds here you can see. We decided that we want our blinds behind the storm window. So Ashley's cleaning up the windows before we put the new storm window in place. We definitely got to hit them from the outside. Our windows got filthy. So the window's clean and I got those brackets moved back. So we'll put the blinds back in. And now I'm going to be doing these little uh, corner brackets. I mean, I'm not trying to do a how-to. If you guys buy these windows, you got to just read the instructions. I already know where these go because I've done the other window. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in now. I already have it marked out. So now I'm going to put my top track in. We just hang it on the track. This is the tricky part. We're gonna put this cover over the track. This helps the window not pop off the track too. Can you give me that block of wood? Where is that? Now I'm going to try to show you, but all you do is you push it in. It's got these rubber gaskets on the sides and a fuzzy gasket. And you just push it in snug. Right up against those brackets that you put in the bottom. How cool is that? So now we have an interior storm window. It actually looks really clean. You barely even notice it's there. What I like about having the blinds in there is... You can't get to them. Now this actually works really good. It's going to actually serve a lot more purposes. Not only will it block some noise and retain some more heat in the house, but it's also going to keep the blinds clean. And we can always open it to uh, adjust them, raise them and lower them. These are cordless. So it's actually not that hard to uh, operate even from one side. But we can actually functionally open the window to the outside if we want. So if we just want fresh air or we need to jump out the window, it's not a big deal because I can just grab the latch right here, unlock it, and uh, slide the window open. So that's it. That's it. It's done. So we did it. We actually managed to salvage the windows after all. I learned so much about windows this week, so that's kind of cool. In the future, I know a lot more about how to buy windows, though I'm not sure I would buy sliders again, to be honest, because no. what we noticed about sliders, and I could make a whole video just about windows, but with these sliders, they have a track that's always open, you know, where the window slides, and that track gets like dust, bugs, gunk, just stuff in that track and it's really difficult to clean it out 
especially once your window gets any kind of condensation and it gets wet, it kind of gets just mucky down there. It's like gross. That's another thing we learned about windows is when we ordered the windows, we just kind of ordered windows. We didn't ask for too much. We let the guy at the desk figure it out. We just got like the normal double pane. But what we learned about windows is that when you order them, special order, you can usually order a thicker glass and we didn't know that. And the thicker you order your glass, the thicker the glass, the better it is at sound deadening. That's something that we would have done if we'd known better. So yeah, thicker glass and also the space between the glass can affect how good your window functions. These right here, these cost just as much as the exterior windows, I would say. I mean, pretty close to. But even though they're pretty pricey, we decided to do them, just four. We got the living room, living room, Mavericks room, our room facing the road. We really wanted to see if it would reduce noise. Ashley is super noise sensitive and if this helps her sleep better, live better, watch movies better, then that's going to be mm -hmm. huge. Also, like I said, we've had such condensation problems. Some of you guys, especially on our members, know some behind the scenes scene stuff where we've had moisture and condensation problems we've talked about. We're hoping that this stops that because it's kind of like creating another pane to your window and with a big air gap in between. It's going to act like an insulator and keep the moisture away from the cold window outside. So we'll see. I can tell you right now, listening to the road outside when a car goes by, it is quieter in here. Yeah, it's a lot more muffled, like a whisper. Breaking it down, putting them together was intimidating at first. Sometimes you buy a new product. Like we said, these weren't cheap. And you're thinking, I don't want to start taking this apart. What if I break the thing? What if I can't get it back together? You can't even do anything at that point. Yeah. This is what we're really good at is... Trying to make something work. Just jumping in and saying, the worst that can happen is that we'll have a learning experience. So anyway, we're not gonna carry on too long. We got Maverick's room in last night and our room in last night. We did these two today, so we're all done. And I feel so much better about everything. Yeah. I like these so much, I would gladly do them in the back. But all we have is Belle's bedroom. The bathroom, I don't care about. That's a normal double hung window. So we just have Belle's room and then two kitchen windows. That's only three more if we wanted to. Actually, not even the kitchen because the behind the sink, I don't even think I'd want to try to squeeze one behind the sink. No. I like the deep back splash there. We read this, that if you have old windows, like a single pane window, adding a storm window make, will make your window just as efficient as a modern double pane, double pane window. Maybe so, even better. That is mind blowing. Cause you think, oh, you know, the new windows, they got all these seals and they got the- The, the gas the inside. Argon gas and everything. But a good, a good, properly installed storm window will be just as good as replacing the, those windows with new windows, if not better in some cases. And that is awesome, because that means you can keep the old windows if you want to. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to lose that old style, because I know a lot of homes have those old windows, 100-year-old homes have those old windows, and some people, they don't want to lose the old feel. So, the, you know, something like this might be cool. And if you're wondering where we got ours, we got them at Menards special order to the right size that we need. I would guess that any big box store would be able to special order them, but we were able to special order these online, which was easy for us. Yeah. So we did. So I hope that puts everybody's mind at ease that we're concerned about the fire egress in the uh, bedroom windows. Everything is fine. They're easy to slide open if you need to and climb out and do whatever you need to do. Again, we tried to share something new I think a lot of people haven't seen interior storm windows, so this is kind of a fun thing to experiment and just see what they're like. And that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll have another one soon. So until next time, take care. Bye.